I lost part. There it is. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hi, Connie. Hi, Cindy. Karen. Mary. Good evening to you. Kathy. Carol. Diane. Jennifer. Welcome. Still good YouTube time. followers. Virginia. Dimple. Good to see you, Dimple. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Patsy. Debbie. Louise. Susan. Lynn, Carla, Carol, Leslie, Cheryl, lots of people on tonight. How's everybody doing tonight? Hi, Linda. So, this is Make It So. Make It So Solo. <laughs> yeah, we are a little bit solo tonight. So, hi, Tom. Hello. Um, Bernadine, hi, how are you? Welcome back. Um, so who are we, Joan? We are Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are windmillsewingcenter.com, quiltershq.com, and Sewing Machines Express is QHQ, the number two, dot com. We do this every Tuesday from 6 central to around 7 sometimes we finish early sometimes we might go over a little bit not depends tonight on what though. we got going on yep depends on how complicated we are um that day yeah we do have some classes coming up to tell you about my note ah, <laughs> sticky note sticky note your um, sewing machine is good for more things than just sewing. You can put <laughs> sticky notes on it, too, if you didn't know. I didn't want to lose it. Hi, Beverly. So, um, we have a Learning to Sew class here at Quilters HQ. Um, that one is not on the website yet, so stay tuned for more details on that. We have the Kimberbell Bench Pillow um, at Windmill Sewing Center. And we have a two-day event at Windmill. Um, it is a Kimberbell event. There are several projects in that one. Price on that one is $1.99, and that does include all of your kits. So, and then, I don't know if you've been to an event with us yet, but Robert buys lunch and snacks and you know. all kinds of stuff. And maybe if we're really, really nice, we can get him to fire up the slushy machine for some adult beverages. Yep. Every, everyone is uh, should be treated like a king or queen coming to an event. Yep. So. Hi, Lori. So, Welcome from Texas. Week 18 of our sew along. Oh, we do have fabric sale for you tonight, too. Well, and we have a, a review demo. as well. It's yes. been asked on a, to find some electric seam rippers and give those a test. So we're going to rip right through those. <laughs> anyway, I see what sorry. you did there. Anyway. That was really clever. Uh, also, we don't want to forget about Festival that's coming up in June. Yes. Um, here cool. in Kansas City. Festival. This is on par with like AQS. It is a big show. There are lots of vendors. It is happening. So don't wait to get your tickets. We have at each store, we have one day passes and three day passes. Get the three day pass. It's three days for $30. Uh, one day pass is $15. There is going to be more that you can see in one day. And of course, the shopping, right? huge specials and um the website let me see if i can get it right it's kansas city regional quilt festival so it's kcrqf.com and they have a listing of all the vendors that are going so you can just imagine this is like the first quilt show that i will have gone to since before last year yeah so that'll be a lot of fun. We, we've got some great educators coming mm -hmm. in, and we're going to try to cover some of those each week. Each week. Um, you know, um, Jackie Gearing is going to be giving a lecture and a class there. So, a couple of classes. Yep, she has a, yep, you're right. She has a couple of classes. Mm -hmm. um, we have Westerly coming in, so we've got some great classes with them. We and we're going to try to cover a little bit more of those just to get the awareness out there. Um, but if you haven't checked it out, you should go out and see what classes are available we out there. We have Juki coming in, too. We do have Juki coming in. The head of education is going to be here, so that will be great. Teaching a class. Yep, Juki Joe's gonna be here. So yeah. Juki Joe will be there of, too. 
Lots of fun. We'll His have... ears are burning right now. He's like, Whoa. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, it'll be great. So um, if you're looking for something, I mean, in June, we will have all had our vaccines. Hopefully. They are doing the the requirements. So it's not 50 people in a classroom. It's 20 and they're big classrooms. Hi, Marcy. No sharing machines. So you get your own machine. All of that is uh, very important to us, your safety. And the convention center is putting in the guidelines as well. So um, don't miss out. It will be great. It will be great. Shall what we... week are we on here? 18. Can you believe that? So we're on week 18. I love this block. Yeah, block 3F. 3F. So what are we doing for like the new people that have joined? Card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not watching. I can, yeah. I can say that. <laughs> so this is uh, our block of the week. We do yes. one block every single week. Every single week. And if I can... Weeks, I cut that out with AccuQuilt. No, um, I don't have a box. I wanted to show you this too. So when you get a cube, this is how they come. So you get them in this nice storage container. They do sell these separately. And they're Ashley. $14.99, I think is what, what the price is on them. So if you have small dies like this, they also have them for the 10 inch dies and the Oh, six by twelve dies as well, okay. and they're also fourteen ninety nine. But I just wanted to show this to you. I do not have a angles open in the store, so one of these can be cut with angles. I did include the the AccuQuilt instruction on it, but since I don't have it open, we're not going to use it. We're just going to rotary cut it, which is not nearly as easy. So don't forget to like and share also. Thank you, Chloe. And if you haven't checked out the digital catalog um, on our website, um, we'd love to get some feedback from you on what you think. Yes. Um, so that's something new that we've done. What color is that? <laughs> guess. You're never uh, going to guess. I don't know. You might guess. Make I a guess. Know. Pink. Something from your childhood. I don't know. Bubble gum. Okay. Yeah, my hubba bubba did look like that. <laughs> you had the pack. You could get the whole strings of gum out. And did you ever go to sleep with old... it and wind up in your hair? You know, I was a little bit concerned about that. But I yeah, did. That's, that's happened. Your mom had to put, like, I don't know what she put in there. She probably put some isopropyl alcohol in my hair to get it out. I don't know. I think I cried so hard she finally just cut it out. Yeah, that seems like when you're walking around with like a patch missing. I was a tomboy. I didn't care. Hi, Donna. Hi, Cheyenne. Okay, so I'm going to start from the bottom. We only need one patch for the center piece of the three and a half inch square. So I'm just going to put this on there and cut it out real quick. I already got my lines drawn on here because we've used this one before. Here, I'll move this and over. Hello, Instagram followers. Welcome. I hope that didn't just end. I never sometimes know who's on Instagram, so just a... So there's my one patch of that. That's done. I need die number three from the six inch cube. That's not right. Maybe it's right. Yes, it is right. But it's the wrong die. It is... No, it's the right one. I'm second-guessing myself here. The pattern's right. I'm just confusing myself. And so we need four of these. So I'm just going to fold it over like this. It is pretty fabric, the bubble gum. It is. I love the Paintbrush Studios. It's such a wonderful feel to it. If you haven't used it, I highly recommend it. And I think we put it in the catalog. We did. With a link, you can click on the picture and it will take you right to the product. So you can go and look at them. So four of those. That's okay. done. And the rest is rotary cut. 
So I'm just going to move this out of my way. See how nice and tidy that folds up? Okay, so um, we need four patches of this three and a half by one and a half. And so I'm just going to go off the salvage edge here. And let me think about this for a second. I'm not going to do it that way. How do they get the pattern, Joan? So they go out to the website. It is free, and there is a button where you can just download these. Okay. So well, we put it at the top. I am going to square up this fabric. It's not quite cut straight, and I Hi, need... Hi, Joan. Hi, Joan. So I'm actually lining up with my salvage, and then I'm going to move over as close to the edge here as I can. And the reason I'm not just cutting it straight off of the salvage is because I want the straight grain to be on the long side of this piece of fabric. And so I am going to cut it three and a half inches. Oh, Bernadine got her gift. Oh, nice. Oh giveaway yes we do have a giveaway tonight we do i'm sure we have one we <laughs> okay we're flying solo here so we a bit of all the tasks so three and a half by one and a half and we need four of those Be sure and send us pictures. Um, we are publishing a, a view or a customer's pictures in the catalog. So definitely Absolutely. love to feature your work. You know. Uh, so we had a question from Amy. Uh, she has the eight and nine inch cube. Can these be used on the blocks you're cutting? No, this needs the six inch cube. This if you one. don't have the six inch cube, rotary cutting instructions are right here on there. Okay. And it will tell you how to how big to cut. Okay. So use that. So that's done. Um, and then I need four patches of the two and three eighths half square triangles. So I'm just going to trim this now that I've already squared it up. Trim it down to two and three eighths. Our cohorts are off tonight. Our cohorts are off tonight. Yeah. So there's that. I need two of them. So I'm just oh, going to fold this. She's a cohort. She's a cohort. She's in cahoots. She's cahooting. <laughs> is it cahooting or colluding? I don't know. Cahooting sounded funny. It is. Again, two and three eighths. A little bit easier with a smaller ruler. Debbie and then... has the rotary cutter from the anniversary bundle Ooh, she says nice. she loves it she will never go back oh my gosh yeah this rotary cutter that anniversary one was really it's really hefty nice. yeah i mean it's got some weight and you can close it just like that so there are my four of that so that's all of the bubble gum save those for something else and if you got one of those in your sewing room, people aren't going to be like, woo! <laughs> Wait, who are we talking about? The rotary cutter. Mm -hmm. It's got some weight to it. It does have some weight. And again, I'm going to square Karen. up this piece of fabric. And I am just lining up my ruler with the salvage here. because I want this to be on the straight grain. We have the best viewers on here. They said you're doing a good job. We do have the best. We have a great here. group. Great. 
and so three and a half inches. And the reason that I'm cutting it three and a half, even though it's only a one and a half, because my straight grain is on the long side of this. So this is not going to stretch as I sew it. So the stretchy side is here. So that's key when you're making these kind of blocks. Even more so in larger pieces like a log cabin. And so I need eight of these. So for speed, I'm just going to fold this over and cut four at a time. Trim off my salvage here. Yeah, they really do have a great grip to them. The Somebody rulers? Was commenting on, uh, Lori was commenting on YouTube. Uh, yeah. No, the rotary cutter. Oh, the rotary cutter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the ruler, too, for that matter. They stay in place. They do. It's four. And eight. Yeah. <laughs> Playing in the rain. Our cohorts playing in the rain. Yeah. Probably. Probably. And then we need 12 of these. And that is 2 and 3 eighths. I'm going to cut this long strip, trim it down to 2 and 3 eighths. Hi, Chrissy. In it moved in the middle. Let me try that again. My fabric moved as I was putting it down, and it wasn't two and three eighths in the middle portion. Well, thank you, Susan. There we go. So, how many layers? That would be six, right? Can I do six? I think I can. Let's try it. So there's it's four. What could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> and there's six. So normally if I were cutting at home, I would not waste fabric like this. Let me line this up a little bit better. There we go. Trim off one side, let's spin it around, two and three eighths. See, this is why Aki Quilt is so much better. Bye. But, no dye, so this is what we do. At least you got a good ruler and a good cutter. That is key to quilting. And there are those. So we're all cut out. Oh, look, they came out the same size. <laughs> that sometimes doesn't... They're little triangles. That sometimes doesn't happen when I use a rotary cutter cutting like that. I get one that's a little, little bit bigger. Huh. Okay. Hi, Miranda. So I'm not going to lay this out just yet. I'm going to sew some of these pieces together. And... Four of these together because I like to chain piece there we go and four of those yep so I've got my little handy magnetic guide again I'm using the TL 2010 just sliding that right on that mark there actually is a quarter inch mark on this machine. It's very convenient. So we have talked a lot about future shows doing a twin needle demo, I think is out there. Mm -hmm. And some serger stuff. I love sewing straight stuff. I can just sew so fast. Lots of serger stuff I think we're going to be doing. Yeah. If you've never used your serger to trim the edges off of your quilt before you quilt it, 
Give it a try. You will never go back. Really helps that binding go on. Oh my gosh. So much better. You don't get the puckers on the back. So if you're just attaching it to the top, sometimes the back side can get a pucker in it. I don't know. It's enough to make you cuss. <laughs> I can't be the only one. But I am trying to clean up my neg la negative language, and so now I say fudge buckets. <laughs> Instead of... Hi, Donna. Hi, Michelle. Other things. So I want everyone to type in the comments on whatever platform you're on. What are you excited to do this year? It feels like we got like a whole year of catch up and we got to try to do something. So everybody should be excited for something. So if there's something you're looking forward to, let us know. I'm looking forward to the quilt show. There you go. So if you go to the booth and I'm not there, it's because I'm shopping. <laughs> The last one of those. That could even be more sewing time. Really. Yeah, that too. Who else did a whole bunch of work on their house this year? Since you were stuck in it. It does seem like we had to do some stuff to the house. We did some stuff to the house this year. We had to fix stuff. Peggy says she says sugar instead of the other word. Sugar. Oh, there you go. That's a good one, Peggy. I like that one. Mm, I use shiitake mushrooms. I like that one too. <laughs> oh, family barbecue. That's a really good one. That is okay. a good one. Something. That's really great to look forward to for your 50th. Okay. Yep. I got a 50th coming up this year too. In July. Yeah. We usually do some fun giveaway around that time, too. So yeah. I have to come up with something fun to give away. Big prize. Share my birthday. Hi, Jane. Okay. Waiting so. for her new sewing machine. Oh, that's probably on me. <laughs> or actually on the sea ship somewhere. Yeah. Or in port waiting to be unloaded. Tore apart her sewing room to make it better. All right. I did that too. Yeah, you did. We're going to do some videos from my sewing Hi, room too. And I'm just pressing these seams towards the dark. Uh, well, happy early birthday, Debbie, from all of us here at Quilters. Grand Caymans. Oh, that would be a nice trip. Yeah. Being able to do more. Oh, yeah. Local shop hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be great for people okay. to really be able to get out and shop local again. That will. I'm kind of tired of shopping online for stuff when I. So, since this wasn't made with AccuQuill, I need to trim these corners off. That's another advantage. So. I actually went to the store the other day looking for a bamboo steamer, you know? And, of course, I went to a couple stores to try to get it, which is shown on their website, which they don't have local. I was like, gosh darn it. And I could see the spot on the shelf where they would be. So, and it was <laughs> empty. And so I'm be glad when they have it local again. And I could just go in and get it. So I'm going to sew the other black portion. There's a three. This is a three. This is actually, if you take this corner piece out, this is a shoe fly or monkey wrench. And so instead of using, I'm serious, Robert, it's, I'm oh, not making a joke okay, here. Okay, all right. <laughs> so instead of two pieces, it has three. So fabric in them. A monkey wrench. That's really a quilt block. Oh, I know. It's just, it sounds fun. Because it has monkey? Oh, well, that'll be great, Linda. 
50th wedding anniversary. Oh, That's good. Congratulations. Being able to go back to church. Yeah, that will probably yep. hopefully be coming around soon. Very not, important. Not doing the drive-by sermons. Drive-by sermons. Oh, retiring. There you go. That's a milestone for that one. So, Peggy, this is uh, Block of the Week. Joan is redoing a quilt that she made years ago, and she wanted to do a different take on it, and we can actually... I think, do we have a picture of the... We'll just post the quilt and the link for everybody. So I've you learned a lot since I made this one. Different tools, better techniques, new skills. Better sewing. Okay, so those pieces are done. So this one actually makes a triangle. So I have to sew these pieces like this. And then these get attached to it. Doesn't look like it's going to fit, does it? <laughs> it will. I guess there's a monkey in the ranch. And so I need to sew that. Okay. I had to look at my pattern to see which side I'm going to sew that onto. And so, and don't forget, these vi videos are available on YouTube after, what is it, about a day? So I'm going to be sewing on Couple. to this side. I usually get it up the next day. Not to put any pressure on you. That's why we gave you an extra day. <laughs> So if you want to download the pattern, pick some fabrics out for yourself and uh, make this quilt and yep. go along. The next one we might just do from home. We might do this yeah, again. We're going to try to add some more YouTube videos. Um, we needed to add some more content to the channel. A lot more people are over there. So I think that'll be nice. And I've got quilts I designed that I've never even made. Sometimes she just gets inspiration. It's like, you know what? I'm going to start sewing. We could just do a video of it and post it. So let so. me know if you'd like to make them along with me. Because it could be fun. You do have quite a few books and books. Well, but these are ones that I designed. So well, you can I mean, only in get your drawing Yeah, book. I do have a lot of inspiration. Old magazines, all kinds of stuff. I'm not a hoarder, but I do have trouble throwing some things away. Well, quilt designs for sure. Well, there's that. There is that. Let's bring this over here. We all gotta aspire to be something and be good at it. So hoarding quilt patterns is Amy says to do a mystery quilt with them. Ooh. Oh, okay. I like this idea, Amy. We could do that. All right. I have one in mind. Oh, the basket steamer. Oh, sorry. Basket steamer. Uh, yeah, the the uh, bamboo steamer. Yeah, I was trying to steam uh, some broccoli and some cauliflower. And I just wanted to use the bamboo steamer. And ours... Mm -hmm. hmm. Somehow the children burnt it. We really don't know how. It is a gas stove. And, you know, the children burn it. So I was looking for a replacement. These are not little children either. They're like adult children. Someday. To have little children of their own. And they'll wonder what happened to their bamboo steamer. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a mystery. Nobody knows how it happened. And they all say, well, I don't know. It was like that. <laughs> isn't, it in the, isn't it in the cupboard? <laughs> hmm. ah, the joys of parenthood. Yeah. It's a mystery. And then you have things and you just like... They're just gone. That happens too. Let me trim these off. See how much time AccuQuilt saves you not having to do this? And then the grandchildren would be the same. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Well, I don't know. I think I will go over when he moves out and has his own family in his own house and just turn the faucet on and leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually happened. All right. I just want to make sure I'm sewing this on the right way. So it's going to go like this. So. Just like that. And I'm lining that up with the corner. And we are lined up all the way around. So. And if you take a little extra time just to feel the fabric, you're okay. You're in the norm. That is normal. It is a really nice fabric. If I haven't already said that enough times, it is... Oops, I well, here that. in the quilt shows, or quilt store, sometimes people just come through and they just touch the fabric sometimes. They're just here to touch the fabric. Are you talking about me, too? No. Because I do. You take the whole bolt. <laughs> I don't take the whole bolt. <laughs> I am trying to trim down my fabric hoarding tendencies. <laughs> there is a little bit there. But I'm using it. Oh, a couple of years ago, I made this kind of agreement with myself that if I made a new quilt, I would use something from my stash i could add to it but i had to use something out of my stash as well and i've mostly stuck to it we're sorry to hear that beverly no church for two weeks oh okay so these are almost done We have three children. Would you like one? <laughs> They're already trained, mostly. Except for with bamboo steamers. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them with that. I don't know, maybe they learned their lesson. I don't even remember where I got those. So if you have a source for bamboo steamers, post it so that we can get one. They're so nice because it, it layers. Are, yeah. You can layer them so you can steam your broccoli and your cauliflower at the same time. Separately. Separately. I put some butter in there and some salt. I am hungry. You know that. <laughs> okay final step of this one so I did pretty good it lines up pretty well so you can see how rotary cutting versus um, AccuQuilt so not bad I would definitely not mix I think so I know that my rotary cutting or my um, AccuQuilt is correct. So see, there's a little bit of a seam, a gap here. Let me get it lined up pretty well. And so what I'm going to do is use the pink, the AccuQuilt piece as my guide as I'm sewing. So there should be enough room to catch that. Okay. So let's sew all of these together and then we can finish piecing. And then it's just a nine patch. Okay. So with this, I'm lining up these corners, this side. And then I'm using this as the guide, the Aki Quilt cut piece. Because I know that that's absolutely correct. The color of the month. What was it? I think it's spring green. I think it is. They've got you guys covered on where to get a new one. Okay, great. Lots of suggestions. You guys are awesome. B seventy nine. Okay, we can probably do some more videos on specific machines. 
good idea for content. Let us know what you'd like to see so we can make it happen. Oh, wow. I didn't think of that. Thank you, Marion. Great idea, Deborah. I actually thought about World Market, but I couldn't. Didn't come out, or I was pretty far away, or something. And it was Sunday, like five forty-five. So I was like, "What's well, still open?" So I actually tried Bed Bath and Beyond. Okay. They did look at me a little funny though, like a bamboo steamer. I don't know what that is. Get that out of the way. Just pressing these open with my doohickey. Yeah, call first. That's a good idea, too. Yeah, I okay. Think that everybody's liking the bright colors. I think that's that's a sign of, you know, spring is here. And yeah. We all want to get out and bright, vibrant colors. Absolutely. The pink and the black go together really well. Or bubble gum and black. Hubba Bubba and black. Hubba Bubba. <laughs> Shout out for some gum there. So, and that's the gist of the look layout. Look at that. It's a really that pretty like a block. block. It does look like a With quilt a monkey block. wrench. It's a monkey with a wrench. I don't I know. I can where see that him. Name... I don't know where that name came from. Does anyone know where the quilting monkey wrench came from? Uh, it'll loosen up over time, Dimple. Work your muscles to get the foot. foot on that, that is a. Yeah, I'm going to trim that. Yeah, those industrial machines, they do. Um... That one's a tank. That one is a tank. Great machine, lasts you forever, but yep. they're pretty amazing. Hi, Kathy. Sharon. Hmm, steamer bags. That's a steamer idea. bags? Yeah, Those little broccoli steamer bags. I have to do this step. I don't know about you, but I have to lay these out like this because if I don't, I will be demoing that um, automated uh, steam, steam ripper. ripper. Test it out on your block? Yeah, I'd rather not. I do like this thread because I can just pull them apart too. And just line up this edge here. I'm still got one of my seams a little bit big. This one takes a little bit longer because of the Monkey Wrench Block has been around for a long time. It was published in the Ohio Farmer in 1898. Wow. See? Told you there was a There's monkey some, wrench. That's some trivia right there. Yep. I had to make a quilt sewing trivial pursuit. Hi, Diana. Okay, so I'm going to press these towards the outside. And then these towards the middle.
last little bit. This is a pretty easy block and it is pretty too. I like this one. This would be great just to use this block and make um, just a repeating quilt because you get a lot of um, secondary patterns in this block as well. With this portion right here, so you get a block and like a square and a square. So somebody needs to make that and show us a picture because that would be a really pretty quilt. Yeah, the head's pretty heavy on that 1541. Okay, just ready for the final press. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, those look really cool. And again, since we're using a sashing, I'm just going to press mounting. all of these. I let some steam off. So I don't make a wet spot on my coat. Just dry that one. And there we go. It's a really cool block. It is. Great I like colors. this block. All right. So that's right. week 18. Week 18. In the books. Not quite. Oh, to... we're getting close to being halfway. Hopefully you've been able to sew along. So we're going to go back over there. Um, so this is the packaging for this one. We don't have pricing on it yet. We just got it. So we're just doing a review. Open we, today. We had talked about um, seam rippers in the past that were electric. Some of you sent in your suggestions. Mm -hmm. So This one is from Nifty Notions. So we wanted to find something that we could carry that we liked. And it looks like a beard trimmer. Actually, I won't lie. <laughs> it does. Um, um, so it's just on and off switch. And they say pin your, um, pin your piece to your ironing board to hold it with one hand. And then you just come along like this with the other. So I kind of like it. Um, it does a pretty good job. You do have to go back and get all of your little excess pieces out. But pretty lightweight. Pretty... Does it take batteries then? It does. It takes okay. a single double A battery. Okay. So um, I don't know if you would store it with the battery in it or just keep a battery handy. Uh, I'm sure that you don't want to use your seam ripper very often, but well, it doesn't close very easily. I had it closed. Oh, it helps if you're doing it right. That's me. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, pretty easy. Um, I don't know if you can cut your fabric with it. Yes, you can. So you'd probably want to be careful as you're doing it. Yep, definitely. I mean, you got to make an effort to cut it, but you can. Yeah, a little bit there, yep. So, um... But I think that their suggestion to pin it to a flat surface so that you can hold it, you know, in place while you use this is good. Um, it's pretty lightweight. I like the color. Light wheat. Light weight. <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors. So I like that. Um, not very big. Could be a little bit bigger. I have kind of large hands, so I might like one that fills up my hand a little more. Then I feel like I have more control over it, but 
it does what it's supposed to do and that's the key thing mm -hmm. so we have another one on order and when we get that one we'll demo both of them um, at the same time well not at the same time but demo both of them and kind of give you which one we like better so okay. we'll get you a cost on it as well just in case you were interested yep and if you have one that you really love put it in the put it in the comments so we can know so yeah, I think the viewer sent this one in. I think uh, so. So we ordered a few and said we'd give them a try. And Joan, yeah. would, Joan would give you a opinion. Yeah, I, I think it could be a little bit bigger. But on the plus side, it's not going to take up a lot of storage in your drawer to store it. A lot of storage in your, a lot of room in your storage. Um, so Linda had asked, do you think that would work on embroidery stitches? I don't think it will because it doesn't, it might. I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, why not? We, I know we have something up here that has been embroidered because we always do. Yeah, that's a good tip. Someone said that you could use the pressure foot on your sewing machine to hold it down, too. Yep. So, that would be a good idea. All right. Embroidery test. Take one. Yeah. So, with embroidery... Yeah, I think it will. A little more effort to get it to come out, but... Let's see if we can do it like this. So, right there is the one. So, there's one I didn't do, and there's one that I did. I got it to if... come up a little bit. Um, let me go around there and grab my. I'll take that with me. So it works really well on the um, the zigzag stitches, but these um, the underlayment sti underlay stitches did not come out very well. But if you're trying to salvage a shirt that you had done, you could, because that's not a lot to pick out. So you could just, and these are. These are six inch easy snips. These are a oh, must. That's a great tool there. It is a great tool. I like them because they have a little hook at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you see the little hook? Maybe yep. if I hold them up. Yep, you can see it. And so that you can get right underneath those stitches. The quilter select. Um, it, no, nope. far more. These are far more. And they they automatically open, so you're only squeezing. So, yeah, you could use it for removing embroidery stitches. A little extra effort, but okay. I'm better than clipping all those stitches out. So. That is some work, isn't it? It is some work, and I think that goes in there like that. Okay, so there's that. And then, nope, all of that goes inside there. There is a instruction... It doesn't really say if there is a warranty. I kind of doubt it. Not on them like this. Mm. So, what shall we do next? Fabric sale? Um, sure. Okay. Need a giveaway too. We do need a giveaway. Oh. Snips. Uh, that's what I need for embroidery machine. These are handy. The other ones that I love, love, love for embroidery are these. These are Quilter Select. Is this the left-handed? Yeah, no, these are the right-handed ones. So I like these over other brands because they have this really sharp point here for embroidery. And so if you're doing any kind of applique, so they're curved on the handle so you can get flat inside your hoop and get real close in those points. And these are super sharp too. 
Any idea how much the snips are? Um, I can look really quick. She's going to check for you. But I, we use these to proof quilts. So you can pick up those stitches. So if I were proofing a quilt, I can just pick up that stitch and then clip it really close. Um... I think they're called easy snips. Yeah. $21.99 for those. Your quilter select applique scissors are $31.99. $31.99 for these. These come in right or left handed. So comment, make it mine, quilter select. Applique scissors, left or right handed, pick up or ship. Um, easy snips, comment, make it mine. They're $21.99. Ship or pick up. So you had a question on proofing a quilt. What's all exact? What's all in that process? So when we when we quilt a quilt, um, we go through and actually look at the stitches really closely. If there's any threads that need to be clipped, we pull those out and clip them. If there's any repairs, we send it back to be fixed. Um, but so our machine, so one of these days we'll take you on a tour and show you our quilting machine because it's not a long arm. So we don't have the ability. So if we're halfway through a row, we don't have the ability to, um, you know pull up our thread so we just have to sew over it so we go through those and clip it if we see threads that are left in the quilting like oh if i had one sticking up through the quilting we would just pull it up and clip that off too so that's what's involved in proofing the quilt we're just looking for things that make it look nice yeah i mean we know how much time you spend on quilting and money that you spend on quilting fabric and all of those things and you send it to a long armor or a quilter you want to have it look nice so we want it to look nice when you pick it up so we charge 1.8 cents a square inch and so but our fabric sale tonight is batiks um these are from benner tex they are nine dollars a yard Normally they are twelve ninety nine. So you're saving what's that four dollars? Yeah, four dollars a, a yard. Um, it's kind of a neat pattern with the cross hatch. So this one is fourteen ninety two. Does anybody know what happened in fourteen ninety two? No, tell us. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I think that's the only one I know. Um, so comment, make it mine. Nine dollars a yard. These are all nine dollars a yard, and we have seven bolts. If they haven't ordered from us before, how would they do that? So the process is you comment, make it mine, and let us know whether or not you this number, the fourteen ninety two, and how many yards you'd like. There's a minimum of one yard. And um, if you have not shopped with us before, you need to go to the website and register for make it so. That gives us your information, your email address, and we will send you an email with a clickable button. It's an invoice with a clickable button. You just pay for it. If you're gonna if you're gonna have a ship it, if not, we will call you when your order is ready and you can pick it up. Yep. So this one is orange. Fourteen ninety two. We had a great conversation about these fabrics the other day. They probably won't be around very long, but no, they won't. So there was a couple people looking at quilts and, yeah. and the fabrics and some of them are just really beautiful so 1963 this these are batiks believe it or not these are batiks this is did i read that right 19 yeah 1963 1963 nice little powder blue and i did get some recommendations on Somebody these is for close-up close up okay yep and for pattern size there's a reference so it's a pretty big pattern. Great quilt back. Okay, who knows what happened in 2020? This is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
We're not getting in a time machine to go back there. Number 2020. It's a really rich brown and it has some purple-ish hues in it. Number 2020. 1951. My favorite fuchsia. Again, these are $9 a yard. Minimum of one yard. 1951. Another one that's beautiful. This green, 1944. I like this one too. This pale lilac. Doesn't it go with this brown well? It actually does. 1912. Who knows what happened in 1912? Are these trick questions? <laughs> I feel under pressure. World I'm War going I. Through back all my history. World War I. Oh. 1912. And the last one? 1918. Oh, 1918 was World War I. 1912 was the Titanic. Yeah. This is Vicky a really, made these numbers up. This is a really cool blue. This is a really nice blue. So, great quilt backs. Um, Vicky got some of this fabric, and she took it home and she washed it. And so, it faded a little bit. These are from Benertex, so what I would recommend is when you wash them, throw a cup of vinegar, in white, just white vinegar, in your washing machine so that the color sets a little better. And, and you use don't a get a color any... catcher or something as well? Or what well, that... I mean, I don't know that I would wash the, um, the, like this, well, you probably could, these two together, but if you're going to wash them, just throw some vinegar so it sets a little better. So, quilt shop quality fabrics, sometimes they do fade a little bit. So, she said that it didn't fade a lot, but just enough that she noticed. So, and vinegar is one of those chemicals that we can use to set dyes. So. Okay. That's our fabrics for That's tonight. That's our fabrics for tonight. We got here. a couple of minutes left for a giveaway. Okay. And what is the, uh, I've had a lot of questions about this recently. This is, um, it's a fusible product. So you can use this in your applique. You can use this to, um, Put your quilt sandwich together um and it's it it's like a salt shaker there's i think this one's has a little bag in there um so it's adhesive powder and you can buy refills for that so save this and try not to push this all the way down inside when you're opening this up um and it to sprinkle it on like salt very sparingly it does not take a lot to use it um, I've used it I like it um, we carry it. it's very very popular every time we feature this we did a demo uh, and I used a um, quilt was actually um, a tree skirt losing my words sorry a tree skirt together with this before I quilted it. It retails for $19.99 and that's our giveaway for today. There's a lot of people commenting that they love that stuff. This is awesome stuff. If you haven't tried it, try it. Just give it a try and use your iron to um, heat set it. And we do have the refills. We have a lot of refills. So save your so, so if little container. If you've already got it, then we can ship you a refill for it. Yep. I'm just waiting for a second. Oh, Kathy used it to pat some blue jeans. Nice. Nice. It is nice. And there's videos, and it's from Alex Anderson. And if you know her name is on it, it's good. So, who's our winner? Who's our winner, Chloe? It is Lori Alejandro. L Lori Alejandro. Congratulations, Lori. Congratulations. You're going to love this stuff. It's cool.
If we don't have your information, make sure you go to the website. Otherwise, yes. we won't be able to get you your prize. Lori, go to our website and click and register for Make It So. And we will get this to you. And the refills are the refill. $14.99 on the refill. So if you already have it and you need to refill your stash. $14.99. $14.99 or $14.95? $14.99. $99. She says, woohoo, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> thanks for joining us. That's us. That's us for tonight. You have to come around because I can't do it by myself. <laughs> Make it so. Make it so. Oh, yeah. What do we say to end the show? <laughs> Make, Make it, it so. so. <laughs>